Now, yesterday for weekend Sundays here at Old Mates Backyard Tech, we grabbed that uh, HP Pavilion DM4 Beats audio laptop that my mate gave me a few months ago. Blew away Salient OS and ended up installing what I believe, and a number of viewers have agreed with me on, we, um, we installed Kazian Linux on it. It installed all right. We updated and upgraded it. Everything worked well until yesterday afternoon. As you can see in the background, it's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. And for this one, Houston, I think we've got a problem. The hard drive's just gone cactus. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for a Monday. And as I said at the top of the video, Houston, I think we've got a problem. The hard drive's cactus. So, let me explain what happened. We installed everything yesterday. I'll put a link in the description below to yesterday's video too, because this video will probably end up making a bit more sense. So we got it all updated, and I was going through everything yesterday, Arvo, and I went to shut it down, and all of a sudden I hear the hard drive, after I go to shut down, just go, Zew. that was it. It just... It stopped. The whole machine stalled. No mouse, no keyboard, no nothing. Could not get anything to respond. The mouse was stuck the whole lot. So I'm like, all right, something got a bit fuzzed up. So I hit the power button, turned it off. It turned off eventually. Walked away, gone, went and made a cup of coffee, sat down and had a cup of coffee and the other thing I like with a cup of coffee, which you all know. And then I'm like, all right, let's power it back up. So I power it back up. And the hard drive just goes zoo, halfway through the, the boot up process. Something's a bit weird here. All right, turn it off again. Go and do what the other half wanted me to do. Come back, power it up. It came up. Not a problem. And I'm working away with it, having a look at what I need to do and what's going to be handy for me here at home if I haven't got the Mac on or... What can I use while I'm in Bendigo, so on and so forth, and I get all that done, and then I go to shut it down again, and the hard drive just goes, Zew. that's it, nothing. So my theory I'm working on at the moment is the hard drive is stuffed in that thing. Absolutely dead set in the fed income department, shot. You know, it, Boulder Yorker, and it's taken out middle stump. So what we're going to do for this video I've got this uh, Seagate Momentus 500 gig, two and a half inch laptop drive. I'm going to put this in it. I'm going to see whether or not this solves the problem. Now, if this doesn't solve the problem, it means we've got another issue somewhere on that laptop. What? I don't know yet. But let's see what happens with this hard drive. I don't know what's on it. I don't care what's on it. We're just going to blow it away and get Kazian on it and see what happens. So let me grab the video camera, get it all set up. Let's go back over to that laptop and um, see what's going on. Let's get into it. All right. Now, getting into one of these laptops is pretty easy. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because what what's really starting to annoy me is when I do show how to get into something like this, one of the holier-than-thou know-it-all experts has a complete SH1T fit and goes, why are you talking about stuff I already know? They don't seem to think that there might be some of my viewers who may not know how to do this, so. But it's pretty easy to get into these. In fact, it's probably one of the easiest laptops to get into. Simply get the battery out of it. You've got a screw just there. So you simply take this screw out. Make sure you can get your actual screwdriver into the into the thing. Now that's a cap to captive screw you simply pull that forward move that out of the road you've got another screw just here where my index finger is and you simply undo that as well it's pretty easy these things I mean most of us will be able to get into these and as you see I haven't explained everything because I'll have a holier than now expert have a go at me that I'm doing stuff they already know about and you're into the hard drive pretty easily now, how do I get this out? I don't remember how to get this out again. Uh, oh, that's right. Yep, I'm going to take out these little 
screws here and the whole hard drive scenario comes out and you can't actually see what I'm doing there can you right, one two and the third one out which is just at the back here now, I'm not even going to try and plug this hard drive into another laptop because there's not a lot of point uh, and what we'll do is just take off the... Ooh. Now, here's a problem. Ah, I think I've just worked out what's gone wrong here. There we go. Alright, so to get this out, we'll just take out these little... Why are you not unscrewing? There we go. So I reckon this hard drive might be part of the issue. Oh no! Oh well, doesn't matter for the time, but I know where they've fallen into. So what we're just going to do uh, for the purposes of this is we'll change the drive out and then I'll fix up getting the uh, mounting screws back into it uh, later. I'm not going to worry about it for the time being. I know where they've fallen, so it's fine. Alright, so let's get this drive out of here. It's pretty easy to get these out. We can all do this. As we know, I'm not allowed to show people how to do it because, you know, the whole other now experts will complain about the fact that I'm doing stuff they know. They want to see stuff they don't know. It really eggs me because I like to show viewers how to do things, but you know, really, all you now experts, oh, you're doing stuff I already know. Stop doing it. I know how to do that. And they don't seem to think there might be some viewers, as I said, that may be interested in how I do this. You know. <laughs> I don't care what your viewers want, I want you to do what I want to do. I'm starting to get to the point where, you know, I am going to start showing viewers how I do things my own way, rather than the holier than now experts wanting me to do stuff their way. You know, because I'm sure there's plenty of, of my viewers who want to see how I do things, because some of them may not know how to do it. And this thing has actually 8 gig of RAM in it, which is good too. So the i5 in this is a dual core quad thread. So that's alright. Which means actually Kazian Linux is, is perfect for this. Alright. Get this plug back on. Can you guys actually see what I'm doing? Oh, sort of. <laughs> Not really. Okay, what's going on here? There we go. Alright, now, I'm not going to bother putting the um, mounting screws into this because if I've got to pull it all out again, I don't want to be wasting time um, doing it. So, just for the purposes of this, I want to just put this all back together. As I said, we've all done this. Maybe one day uh, I'll show my viewers how I actually do do stuff like this step by step, but at this stage I'll keep the whole and now experts happy. Uh, that's right, this screw's a nightmare to get back in sometimes. There we go. Alright, now I haven't really tightened any of this up because I don't want to. As I said, for the purposes of this, I want to, um, alright, now, let's come back up to here, and I need escape, move that up a bit, and I need F9 for the BIOS. Whoa. 
that didn't work. I made the BIOS. I hit the I hit F9 and not F10. All right, now do we have a hard drive on there? We may, we may not. Doesn't seem to think we've got a hard drive. Um, oh, there. Uh, that's interesting. Um, okay. Why do we not appear to have a hard drive? Sorry, you guys can't actually see what I'm doing, can you? Um, yeah, that's an issue. Uh, okay, let me grab that USB with Casein on it. And uh, let's see what's going on. Hang on a minute. Well, now it seems to think it's got it. But what I'm going to do is we're going to actually install Casein on here right off the meat of the bat it seems a little better alright we'll try this again Now it does have, luckily it picked up the network, both my, both my Wi-Fi's, which is nice. Because I'm not going to be using this on Ethernet, unless I have to, so uh, by default it'll run Wi-Fi, but I mean, if I have to get into the Ethernet, I can, but generally speaking, I'll be using this as a Wi-Fi laptop anyway, so it's perfectly fine. I'm not, you know not too concerned all right let me get this bit of it sorted out and uh, we'll be back all right so I've got all that sorted out see if it finds the hard disk now if it doesn't find the hard disk then I know we've got a bit of an issue possibly with the either the interface cable in itself or Okay, use the entire disk. There it is there. So it does have it, that's good. Now, yesterday you'll notice I did this. But what I want to do for this, particularly for this test, is I'm going to do this. Now, I know people are going to have a total SH1T fit with this. I don't care. We're trying to troubleshoot the issue, all right? So my, my justification, as we know, I have to justify it. While I'm trying to troubleshoot this problem, I'm just going to put everything in one partition. I know that's not the way you do it. That's the way I'm going to do it at the moment. And just to be on the safe side, I am going to actually plug this into power. So just hang on a minute. All right, yes, we want to do that. No, we do not want to go to there. And yes, we want to do that. Okay. There we go. All right, so the time is uh, 25 past nine Monday morning. Once this thing's ready to come back again, We'll come back and I'll let you know what the time is. We'll see how long it, go, it takes to install. My theory is, and I'll just go back over my theory, this drive's had it. That's my theory, all right? We're only gonna be able to figure out this theory if the system works properly with this other Seagate hard drive. Now this is a, uh, I don't even know what hard drive this is. Uh, it's a Toshiba, but I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure about the spindle speed. I'll have to look up what the spindle speed is. I think it's only a 5,400 uh, 5, RPM. It's a 500 gig hard drive, but I don't know if this is 72 or 54. Probably 54, um, I'd assume. I think the one I've put in is 72. But we'll, we'll soon find out. So, all right, we'll come back when this thing's closer to being finished and installed. All right, well, I'm already noticing a dramatic improvement in it getting the files onto the disk. So my theory may be true. And that theory may be the fact that the hard drive in it was stuffed. Um, we're getting there. This, I, I'm noticing a, a much improved increase in the um, speed from the USB to the hard drive. So hopefully my theory comes true. All right. Well, this is going a hell of a lot faster. It's been eight minutes and I'm already here. Um, so, this has gone a lot, lot faster. So, I think what's happened is the drive was already failing. Because this is already vastly improved. I mean, we're already here in under 10 minutes. Yesterday, it took a lot longer than that. Um, I also, just while I was waiting, had a look back at yesterday's video and there's a section in the video where it doesn't shut down i actually have to power it off so it's possible the hard drive was stuffed and i didn't know it until it really went down on me last yesterday sorry yesterday arvo not like well yeah yesterday arvo i was gonna say last night but it wasn't so this is installed a hell of a lot quicker on this drive now I don't know if this drives a 54 or 72. I think it's a 72. The other one is a 54. This is a 7200. So it's very possible that my theory is right, that the hard drive was stuffed. Let's have a look. All right, it is now 9.35. It is 25 to 10, and we're here in 10 minutes. So... I'd say I've fixed the problem with this. That's going to infuriate the holier than thou know it all experts that I've actually fixed a problem and it was hardware related. Wow. They're going to be furious with me because I didn't talk to them. I wonder, I wonder how I knew to go to hardware first. <laughs> There'll be comments made on other social platforms that old mate managed to fix a problem but he didn't get guidance and advice from us because we know everything. Of course, I may have shot myself in the foot now too because it's actually stopped. <laughs> <coughs> the big test will be logging in and then shutting down and seeing what it does. If it shuts down, I'll be happy. But to get to this position in 10 minutes, yesterday it took a lot longer than 10 minutes, trust me. So, as I said, this is a dual-core quad-thread i5, and if you don't believe me, look up the specs. And it has 8 gig of RAM, so. Hopefully this will come up reasonably well, I'd say. Time will tell. <laughs> yeah, the holier than thou know it all experts are going to be absolutely ropeable with me. You should have talked to us first, because we know everything. You watch. They'll... they'll there'll be comments and that made behind my back that I didn't discuss this with them that I should have gone to them first because they are the holier than thou experts alright let's get the phone out so it was 25 past 9 when we started it is now 23 minutes to 10 
Let's just see how much longer this takes. As I said, the big test will be the uh, shutdown because if it actually shuts down, I'll be happy. Definitely tell the CPUs over here. Unmount the file system. Let's see how quickly this. Now, theoretically, this should shut down and then start up again. In which case I've got to get. Uh, do you also notice I didn't have to swap the USB keys? Remember in yesterday's video, I actually had to swap the USB keys. Don't forget, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, there's a link in the description below. It did turn it off. Alright. Take the USB out. Alright. I'm just going to let this boot by itself. See just how much quicker this is to boot, by the way. That's the ACPI error. I know about them. I'm not worried about that at the moment. Really don't care. I'm more worried about this bar down here. I want to see how much quicker this loads up. That is, that it actually is a little quicker than yesterday. Alright. What's this going to do? It, it, it annoys me this thing doesn't have a hard drive light because you don't actually know what it's doing. Let me log in and let me get username and password done. Then we'll log in and see what happens. All right. Let's see how quick, how much quicker this is to load. It may still be the same. No, it is quicker. It is quicker. That's good. That's good. That's what I want. Okay. Now, let's check the shutdown. Before we move on, let's check the shutdown and see if this thing will actually shut down. That's all. Ah, now that's different. I didn't. Okay. I reckon that hard drive was stuffed. Let's see what this does now. See if it'll shut down. No. Still won't shut down. Boots up quicker, loads faster, but still will not shut down properly, which is a real problem. But it's a lot faster to start. Okay, we need to figure out where the problem is with this at the moment. So the hard drive still spinning. Okay, so the hard drive is still spinning. So that's all right. So the hard drive still spinning. It hasn't spun down, but it still won't shut down. All right. So we know it's working better. It's working faster and loading quicker. So that's a good thing. I didn't have to swap the USB keys around like I did yesterday. It picked the drive up, but it still won't shut down. Okay, I'm going to load this up. I'm going to put this part of the video together. We'll call this part one. And I am going to get into the BIOS of this and then try and figure out what's gone wrong. All right, what I'll do, I'll put this as part one. So we know it actually boots up faster. We didn't have any errors. It ran like a dream, but now it still won't shut down. Okay. Is this a BIOS problem or is this a all hardware issue? We'll come back. So stick around for part two. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.